What's up everyone, it's Dr. Will Cole. I'm a leading functional medicine expert. A major part of my work with my patients is talking about gut health. Gut health is paramount to human health. It's home to about 75% of the human immune system. So when you're dealing with immune issues, you wanna look at where the predominance of the immune system resides. And our gut and brain are actually formed from the same fetal tissue. So when babies are growing in their mom's womb, the gut and brain are formed from that same fetal tissue and they're inextricably linked for the rest of our lives through what's known as the gut-brain axis, the connection between the gut and the brain. 95% of serotonin, our happy neurotransmitter, is made in the gut and stored in the gut. It's known as the second brain. It's just integral to how you wanna feel. It's integral to vibrant wellness, optimal energy, optimal hormonal balance, optimal everything in our body. And it's no surprise that Hippocrates, the, the father of modern medicine, you know, every doctor takes the Hippocratic Oath, he said all disease, all health problems begin in the gut. And now research is really catching up with antiquity that the majority of health problems we face as a world today, sadly, have origins in the gut, uh, at least a gut component to it. So it's, a, we have, it's so important that we're looking at the far-reaching implications to gut health. And every food we eat either feeds gut health or feeds gut health problems. So some foods that I recommend my patients to bring in their life to support gut health or optimal digestion is foods that have fiber. Fiber, it's in many plant foods like fruits and vegetables, different plant foods, starchy vegetables as well. They all have fiber. Fiber is a prebiotic for our gut microbiome. You, you've heard it said probably that we are what we eat. Well, that's true, but we are what our microbiome eats even more because the foods we eat actually influences our microbiome, the trillions of bacteria in our gut. And depending on the study that you look at, we're upwards of 100 trillion bacteria in our gut. And compare that to 10 trillion human cells. So you are in fact, and me too, don't take it personally, about 10 times more bacteria than human. We're sort of the sophisticated host for this gut garden, this microbiome metropolis. So the foods you eat very much influences this gut garden and prebiotic fiber from plant foods, fruits and vegetables is one way to support that gut garden and bacterial diversity to support optimal gut health. Healthy fats are another way, things like avocados and olives, healthy fats it also has fiber and it has polyphenols, antioxidants, which further supports gut health overall. So these are some foods to focus on and avoid what I call inflammatory, what I call the inflammatory core four. These are the four foods or food additives that can really disrupt the microbiome. So this is, I would say, refined sugar, gluten containing grains like wheat and rye and barley, decreasing those, uh, industrial seed oils like canola oil and vegetable oil and soybean oil and conventional dairy. Those are really they could be potential disruptors of our gut health and can diminish our gut health. So take inventory of your diet, decrease those, and increase soups and stews, fruits and vegetables, clean protein, healthy fats, antioxidant-rich diet. These are ways to support your gut health. And one thing that to consider is supplementation because supplements are a great way to enhance that gut health. And remember, I just talked about prebiotics. Well, we have prebiotics and probiotics. So one way to get prebiotics and probiotics is this blend from Now Foods. I love it because it has both of those. It has the prebiotics, which enhance bacterial diversity, but it also has probiotics, which are the beneficial bacteria to really instruct for a healthy microbiome balance. So those are my top gut health tips, my friends.